Tonight, RFK Jr. is set to take the stage in moments for a campaign rally in Phoenix. He is polling higher than any third party or independent candidate in a generation, consistently since early in the spring, holding 20 percent in a hypothetical three-way race against President Biden and former President Trump. One of his main media strategies is actually going on podcasts. It's a specific strategy. And the question is, how is it working? Lucy Kafanov is out front. Hello, and welcome to Entangled. I'm your host, Jordan Euclid. Jordan Euclid, a Colorado venture capitalist and podcaster, says he's voted for Democrats in every presidential election since he's been eligible until now. So this election, I'm, I'm planning to vote for Bobby Kennedy. Euclid says he experienced a transformation of sorts during the pandemic, which changed not only his political views, but also where he gets his information. Since the pandemic started and I lost trust in a lot of the things that were being told to us by the corporate media, I started to explore more and more alternative sources of media and get more actively involved in things like podcasts. A format he thinks serves Kennedy well. I think one of the reasons that Bobby Kennedy um, is more successful in long form podcasts is because he can uh, articulate his intelligence. If I was just looking at the corporate media presentation of him, I'd probably think he was, you know, just a conspiracy theorist, anti vaxxer. Thank, Thank you all. Thank you very, very much. This campaign is uh, kind of Armageddon potentially for the legacy media. Kennedy is open about his online strategy. When we can convince those people, to watch a podcast, to watch uh, Joe Rogan or George, Jordan Peterson, that they have a very, very high and very quick conversion rate. Since launching his long shot bid for the White House, first as a Democrat, now as an independent. It became clear to me that that's what I needed to do. Kennedy has been making the rounds on popular podcasts and live streams. A lot of uh, real pleasure meeting you. And thank you so much for hosting this where he's able to reach large audiences while speaking at length, usually without being challenged or fact-checked. Why would we have biolabs in Ukraine? Uh, um, we have biolab labs in Ukraine because we're developing bioweapons. So the last podcast we did was censored and removed. Which is clearly a violation of the First Amendment. Wi-Fi radiation causes Yeah, cancer. from your cell phone. I mean, there's cell phone tuner, tumors. That's the one that cinched it for me was Joe Rogan, 1999. Rosie Aguilar says she hasn't voted in the past several presidential elections. The candidates just didn't excite her. Those are my choices. Dumb or dumber. She wasn't planning on voting this year until she listened to Joe Rogan's three hour long interview with Kennedy. Joe asked great questions, the questions I would ask. And, you know, Mr. Kennedy responded in a way that made sense to me. Like, wow. I'm going to reboot the GPS. Yeah, I was swayed by RFK Jr. on long form podcast form. Kendra Wilson was initially interested in Kennedy, too. We're 10 times more likely to die over the next three months than girls. But the more she saw of Kennedy on the campaign trail, the less she liked. And it wasn't until I saw the rallies and the Zoom event, and I'm like, God, everybody's white here. Like, this isn't a solution to anything. You know, I hear him talking about all this unity, but what I see is not unity. For a far outside the mainstream candidate like Kennedy, this is a strategy that frankly makes sense. He can bypass the gatekeepers and fact checkers. He also ends up reaching large and engaged audiences. And while the supporters that we met, Aaron, have been extremely enthusiastic about him, which is no small feat, frankly, in this election, uh, it remains to be seen whether the so-called podcast demographic will actually turn out on election day. Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, unbelievable. It's, it's fascinating. And to come up with a totally different strategy as well that he's at least so far uh, obviously executing on. Thanks so much, Lucy.